Hello? Okay, let's look at another type of absolute inequality where there are modulus of a rational function with a number on the right hand side. Right? So if you, did, if you see this case there, there is only one modulus on the left hand side. This is a number, right? So this is the uh, this is better you apply basic definition, right? Uh, basic definition. So all right. Basic definition, you have modulus of x greater than a, which give you x greater than a or x less than negative a. So if you have modulus x less than a, everything will be reversed. From more than will become less than, or will become n, and less than will become greater than negative a, right? Uh, so keep writing until you very fluent about uh, using excellent using this basic definition in solving absolute inequalities. So look at this case. It's greater than, right? It's greater than. So it's all, right? I uh, apply. This means that this is your x now. This is your a now, right? So it'll be one. Your x greater than the a. Or, or uh, the 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 is less than the negative a. Right? So this is actually you have learned in the uh, rational inequalities, right? Rational inequalities. Just this is the absolute rational inequalities, right? So now you break it to two parts. So you have two rational inequalities. So, do you still remember that I used table of sign in solving the rational inequality? So, okay, let's see how I solve over with x minus 1 minus with 3 greater than greater than 0, right? Greater than 0. So, you have uh, <coughs> so you have 2x minus with 1. This one is equalized, equate the denominator. You multiply x minus 1 and this also you multiply x minus 1 right so you have uh, 3 times with x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 greater than 0 right okay greater than 0 so now you simplify 2x minus 3x 2x minus 3x you have negative x right you have negative x so minus 1 plus 3 ne minus 1 plus 3 you have positive 2 divided by x minus 1 greater than 0 and for my video for my lesson I always when I solve a rational inequality I will make the coefficient for quadratic for quadratic the coefficient for x square must make sure positive for rational inequality all the coefficient for x must be positive uh, this is my setting so I will make sure I will multiply this with uh, negative 1 Alright, I multiply with negative 1 means I multiply negative both sides. Okay, I multiply negative, then I have x minus 2 multiply with negative divided by x minus 1. Don't forget to change the sign for this rational inequality. Uh, now I have getting this, right? I have getting this rational inequality which I will do, uh, I will using table of sign in solving this. Okay, for this section first. Alright, okay, uh, this is for case number one. Uh. So you have uh, case number one. So this is case number two. So don't forget, all is a union, right? It's union. So now we look for this case, right? This case here. So uh, you have 2x minus 1 over with x minus 1, bring over, become plus 3, less than 0, right? Less than 0. Then this is 3 over 1. So you multiply with x minus 1. Right? Uh, x minus y. Equate the denominator. Same like this. So you have 2x plus 3x as 5x. Right? 2x plus 3x is 5x. Minus 1. Minus, uh, minus 1. Minus with 3. You have negative 4. Divided by x minus 1. Uh, this is another rational inequality. But now this is for case 2. Right? So you have to find the solution for this rational inequality in case 1 and rational in uh, the 
the solution for the rational equation is C2 separately, right? Separately by using the table of psi, right? Table of psi. Okay, for case number one, right? For case number one, which is x minus 2 divided by x minus 1 less than 0. So I have teach you in the rational inequality, the section of rational inequality, where I have to find the critical values, right? The critical values, uh, the critical values for this rational function is x equals to 2 and x equals to 1, right? So I have to uh, draw such that you have uh, 1 and 2, then you have 3, three region, 1, 1, 2, Three, three regions. So I, I, I draw a table which have three column for the sign and this of course is your x minus 2 and your x minus 1. Right? So this will be your conclusion x minus 2 and x minus 1. Right? Remember for rational inequality we apply table of sign. For quadratic, if you see a quadratic, you apply the graphical approach, right? Uh, so now, all right. Okay. So you have the values. The values is 1 and 2, right? 1 and 2. So the 2, x minus 2 equals 0, you get 2, right? So after this line, the, num the sign will be positive. So this will be negative. And 1 come from here. x minus 1 equals to 0, you get 1. So after the line here for, for this row, you will get positive and this you get negative, right? So now you're making conclusion. Negative divide by negative divide, right? You get positive. This one, of course, you get negative, you get positive, right? Ah, so this is how you solve uh, rational inequality. So now, okay, which one to choose, right? Positive or negative? It depends on this case. Right, uh, the final uh, inequality for this rational, this form. So less than zero, negative, right? Negative. So you have choose the negative region. So which is between one and two. So for this side, you have between one and two as your solution. Keep this solution, right? Because this is just a solution for case number one. All right, case number one. Let's move on to case number two, right? Case number two. All right. Let's move on to case number two, which is uh, this one. 5x minus 4 divided by x minus 1 less than 0. All right. Less than 0. So what is the critical values for this case? Right. The critical values will be x equals to 5x minus 4 equals to 0. Or uh, 5, uh, 4 over 5, right? It's a 4 over 5. And x equals to 1. So you construct 4 over 5 is 0 0.8 and 1. So you have three regions also. 1, 2, and 3, right? 1, 2, and 3. Doesn't matter, we just construct a table which have 5x minus 4 x minus 1 and 5x minus 4 divided by x minus 1 so these are going to put the critical value or the boundary values which is uh, 4 over 5 and 1 so you're already very familiar right 5x minus 4 4 and 4 so which uh, which column, which row you put positive or negative is depend on which line the number the 405 is come from this factor, right? 5 over minus 4. So start from this line, you are putting positive on the right, negative on the left. And x minus 1. Uh, this is the line for x minus 1. So after after this line, you put positive. This one you put negative. So negative, negative, you have positive. Positive, negative, negative, positive, positive, positive. So which to choose? Uh, negative, right? It's a negative situation. So where you need to choose the negative. 
region, right? Negative region. So which gives you x in between, in between 4 over 5 and 1, right? 4 over 5 and 1. So now you're going to do a conclusion for your solution, all right? Uh, the conclusion, because this is the solution for case number one, this is the solution for case number two. So you're going to unite this uh, these two solutions by looking at this operation or union, right? Uh, remember, now you are not solving, you know, now you are not solving uh, inequalities. You are not solving rational inequality. Now you are combining the solution. So now you draw a number line that include all the number, all right? Include all the number means start from uh, 4 over 5, right? Start from 4 over 5. The smallest number will be 4 over 5. Followed by 1, 4 or 5, followed by 1, followed by 2. So for case number 1, you put on the, uh, the first level, means that 1 and 2, right? Uh, 1 and 2. So, right? 1 and 2. And the other one is 4 or 5 to 1, the second level. So 4 or 5 to 1. Four, five, seven, one. Union, ah, union. So, or union. Union means or right. Accept or accept, accept one, right? You see, there are two empty circle here, right? Why? Why cannot accept one? Because one is the denominator. If you accept x equals to one, then you divide by zero. Right, which is undefined. So your solution, your final solution will be x. X can accept 4 over 5 up to 1. Or 1, 1 up to 2. Or you can write x between 4 over 5 and 2. But exclude 1 all right uh, so this is a solution for this problem so hope you can understand the flow of uh, solving this absolute inequality all right